Have you ever heard the saying, cleanliness is next to godliness? It's attributed to John Wesley. In 1778, he did write this down in a sermon. So the reason I'm bringing this up is that some of you guys never got the memo. You're downright nasty. In today's video, gents, 21 items that you need to clean more often. First up on this list, the bottom of your shoes, the bottom of your boots. You're out walking around town and who knows what you're walking through and all of a sudden you're gonna track that into your house. Now, some people, they actually are smart. They take their shoes off before they enter their house, but I've been to plenty of homes, including the one I grew up in. Nobody seemed to take their shoes off. Gents, before you enter a home, make it a habit to wipe your shoes off, to kick them, get any of that mud removed. And then when you're entering someone's home, always offer, look for a place to take your boots or shoes off. Not everyone's going to offer this, but try to be a good guest by looking for it. Next up, gents, we got the toothbrush. Let's think about this. Twice a day, you put this in your mouth. It's in a warm, moist environment most of the time, and there is fecal matter that's floating around and going to get on your toothbrush. So what do you do about something this nasty? Well, guys, you have an antiseptic that you could put on. Just simply put it in mouthwash. Another thing is to take this and boil it. Another option is some toothbrushes actually come with an infrared type of treatment that you could actually put it in when you're not using it. Next up, we've got the reusable water bottle. I know you're traveling, you love this thing. Thank you for saving the environment, but you need to wash and clean that after every use. Because here's the thing, is when you're drinking water, guess what? A little bit of backwash goes in there, a little bit of food goes in there, and that can build up into some nasty bacteria. Next up, we've got your contact lens case and that contact solution. Every time you use it, you want to use fresh solution and you want to clean out that case. Seems like a lot of work, especially for those of you that are used to just using it multiple times in a row. Here's the issue is it's not as effective and it can cause irritation to your eyes. Next up, we've got the kitchen sink. You want to do a good job cleaning this because they've shown more bacteria is in and around the kitchen sink than the toilet. So this is something, yes, you're cooking food in and around here. Make sure to clean that kitchen sink daily. And dovetailing right off the sink, let's talk about kitchen towels. Kitchen towels should be changed out daily because you're over there cooking, wipe your hands off. You're cleaning, you wipe your hands off. Your kids run through the kitchen, they wipe their hands off. It, guys, throw those things into the laundry. So let's stay in the kitchen. Now let's talk about that trash can. Every time you change out that trash bag, you need to have a disinfectant spray, wipe it down. Once a week, you need to go in there, wash it out, give it a deep clean. This is something a lot of people just don't think about till it smells. By that point, guys, it's a little bit too late. Now let's talk about that fridge. Once a week, you want to be wiping the outside of it, opening it up, going through, wiping out the inside. You don't have to take everything out. That would probably be something once a month to take everything out, then wipe it down. But what you want to look at are dates. So go through anything that's expired, throw it out. Anything that's turned green that wasn't originally green, you probably want to throw out too. Next up, let's talk about your couch. Really, this depends on use. If you don't spend much time in your apartment, this is something you occasionally sit on, maybe once every couple months. If you've got kids and you have a dog and you have cats, probably twice a week, you're going to be cleaning off this couch. Make sure to pull up those cushions every week and go through there. Yes, you'll sometimes find money, but most likely you're going to find something you didn't want to find with your kids left in there. Point is, make sure to stay up on the couches. So let's talk about this desk. A lot of you guys don't clean your desk, but once a month, that's a mistake. A lot of you don't clean it, but once a week, that's a start. You want to clean and have your desk organized every single day. This is where you come to work. This is where you stay focused. This is where you drink coffee. This is where you sometimes eat lunch. Guys, make sure that you not only clean it up, but you organize it, especially at the end of the day. So when you show up the next day for work, you show up to a clean, orderly desk. The next two items we've got on this list, gentlemen, your keyboard and your mouse. And let's face it, some of you guys have never cleaned these items, and that's just downright nasty. I don't want to imagine what some of you guys are doing, but I know many of you guys are just eating food or you just got messy, dirty hands and you're getting this all over the mouse, all over the keyboard. Guys, clean these at least once a month. Next up, gents, we've got your cell phone. Yes, and studies have shown there's been some nasty bacteria found on these things. Just think about it. You're cooking food. Somebody calls you, grab it. You don't even wipe your hands. Guys, make sure to clean these things once a day with an antibacterial wipe. I know maybe that's too much. At least once a week. Come on. And let's talk about those dirty, nasty remote controls. Not only in hotels, which yes, you want to wipe those things down. No idea what people have been doing with those, but in your own home. Yes, most are tested positive for cold viruses and all types of other things on them. So take those antiseptic wet wipes and wipe down that remote daily. The next two gens, I'm going to throw them together. We've got doorknobs. We've got light switches. Think about when was the last time you cleaned these? 
For most of you, you don't remember. And this is something you want to clean once a week. Think about it. You're going in and out of the house, grabbing that doorknob. You are going in and out of that room, flipping that switch with dirty hands, clean hands. Why not actually clean those things off so that you're not spreading viruses? Next up, we've got your laundry basket. This is something a lot of people look past because, hey, you're putting clean clothes in it. But guess what? You had dirty clothes in it all week. So this is something you want to make sure after every use, have those disinfectant wipes wipe it down, take care of business. Next up, we've got the bathroom towel. Three uses or any time that you use it on the floor. The last one sounds obvious, but a lot of people, they leave that towel up, they use it again and again. Yes, you're drying yourself off when you're clean, but guess what? You're still scraping away skin and that will attract bacterial growth. So your bath mat, you know that thing right there at the bottom of the bath so you don't slip and fall? Guess what? Have you ever cleaned this? For many people, the answer is no. Not until it turns green and then you throw it out. But guys, moist, wet area. This is going to build up bacteria. You want to make sure once a week to take this thing out, let it dry. You may even have two that you rotate between. That's going to help a lot. So we're still in the bathroom. Let's go over to the shower. You're going to want to make sure to wipe down and clean the sides of the shower after every use. There are certain sprays out there that you can spray down. They're going to get rid of that nasty film. All of a sudden, if you don't do this, guess what? You're going to start to get green mold right in on the sides. And then let's go next look at that shower curtain. Shower curtains you can clean probably once a month, but it is something that you may have to do more depending on if you've got hard water or if you start to get a buildup on there. And it may be something after six months, after a year, if it's it's vinyl and after you've washed it a couple times, you may realize, hey, I just need to change this thing out. All right, Jen, so let's move over to the bedroom. Let's talk about your sheets. The rule is once a week, you're washing your sheets, your base sheet, your top sheet, your pillowcase, and your duvet cover. All of this needs to be washed once a week, whether you think it's dirty or not. Because yes, you may shower before going to bed, but at night you're moving around and you're just rubbing off just a bit of skin. Over the period of a week, if you don't clean that off, if you don't get rid of that skin, it's going to start to attract mites. Mites in themselves are not really an issue, but it's their feces. Yes, it is mite poop that builds up over time. And let's talk about with pillows. So every six months, you need to be washing and cleaning that pillow, exposing it to heat as well in the dryer because those mites and what they emit can actually double the weight of a pillow over the period of a year. And let's talk about your mattress. So this is something where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of Cure. Guys, spend the money on a good mattress protector when you buy it new because what you don't want to deal with is you don't have that protector and all of a sudden something happens. You spill wine, a kid has an accident, you have something that happens on this mattress and guess what? You're stripping off all those sheets and then you are cleaning. You're using the stain remover, you're going through and using some type of cleaner to try to get that stain out. Then you're using a deodorizer like baking soda, putting it on there, you're going to let it dry, you're going to vacuum it off. But guys, all of this could be prevented if you had a good mattress protector. And let's not forget your down comforter. These are soft, these are warm, but they can be damaged if you wash them too often. So use your duvet cover. That's going to protect the down comforter from basically touching your skin. You wash the duvet cover once a week. The down comforter, you wash once every six months, unless you're using that down comforter directly on your skin. Then you should be washing it more. And I can tell you from experience, if you wash this too often, the down is actually going to spread to the edge of the blanket. You don't want this to happen. So make sure to leverage the power of the duvet cover. Now, gentlemen, I know I didn't cover everything in today's video. In fact, I didn't want to repeat myself. And if you want more, go check out this video right here. I've got bad bachelor habits, basically things that men do that gross women out. And there's a number of items here that need to be cleaned more. So go check it out, guys. I will link to this video down in the description. All right, gentlemen, so now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What did I miss? What could I have added to make this video better? Let me know down there in the comments. And if you like this video, click that like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, subscribe, become part of our community. And if you've been around for a while, make sure that that notification button is turned on. And guys, don't forget down in that video description, I've got tons of free resources for you. You want to get my freestyle dictionary with audio? I've got you covered. Link to it's down there. My free eBooks on watches, on boots, on shoes, on building up your confidence. I've got it down there for you. Gentlemen, my mission here at Real Men Real Style is to give you the tools to become the man you know yourself to be. So do your a favor. Go grab that information. Go grab those tools and get started today. That's it, gentlemen. Take care. I will see you in the next video.